This is to document uh, what I'm working on, which is a helmet impact sensor that can be a very cheap and very simple piece of hardware and run against a Raspberry Pi, which is also a very cheap, very simple piece of hardware. So you can have a whole team wired up to see who had achieved, you know, a certain amount of thresholds applied to their body. Okay, this is the piece of hardware I'm using right now. It's an Intel Edison. It's got a small battery pack, accelerometer, and another circuit that I've made, a little board that essentially just operates a single LED. Uh, what it does is it it's continuously measuring the accelerometer, and if in any direction you uh, feel the force of a certain threshold, right now it's set at 2 Gs just to make it easy to achieve um, so I can just kind of shake it and you'll see that the LED lights up and this is connected to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi sees these values coming through because it's using two Node.js services and this would, one's publishing data that this one is picking up. Um, I'm also outputting that data to any socket IO uh, devices that are connected and so this is a web browser running socket IO in order to listen to this publishing to the Raspberry Pi, and this is also connected to the Raspberry Pi, so it sees the data coming from this in real time. So again, to show that data, uh, I'm gonna shake this, and you'll see the LED light up, right? And you'll also see that that data has been published out to this web browser that's connected to the Raspberry Pi, and you can see it's displaying both X and Y axis as data and it, it saw all this data coming through. So if I shake it more, you can kind of see it graph the data that's coming through in real time. Um, and that's how it works. It's running on the Intel Edison. This is just a simple Raspberry Pi because it's using PubSub and not a lot of data because it only sends the data that passes a certain threshold. Um, you could make it very, very inexpensively and have a whole team publishing just to a single Raspberry Pi using Node.js and Socket.io. Alright, thanks for watching.